Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? It's your boy Optics Gumpy here today, bringing you the post event blog for our first two matches of the season. Now, let me just start the video out saying this. I don't know what the hell happened to our SD against FaZe, but we have been scrimming it. I promise y'all, we have been scrimming it. We've been scrimming it actually pretty frequently, uh, at least two to three times a week. And we actually do get pretty good reps, and we honestly don't really lose it that much whenever we scrim it however in the match it did look pretty bad how we played i mean i had a really bad map on miami that doesn't help i honestly was just in the cycle like i was in in the cycle of i was getting bad timings and i think i got one gunfight at the very very i think in the last round that we lost i got one gunfight and i got xm4 three bulleted and i was just i was just like dude next map move on I was I was not happy. I was like, dude, freaking Miami, man. Like I I was at a loss for words after that map. I was like, dude, like what I was like, what could I even do differently in some of those situations? Um but let's talk about the positives first. So we did start one and zero against the Paris Legion. Uh a lot of people underestimate this team. I don't know uh if it's because they're players or if it's just because it's the Paris Legion. And they didn't have the best season last year. But the Paris Legion are not a bad team, in my opinion, at all. They did have an unfortunate 0-2 start. But I don't think that they're a bad team. I think that they're kind of just finding their footing. Uh, honestly, they gave us some pretty tough times in scrims. I think we've only played them two times. But both times that we scrimmed them, they actually played us tougher than a majority of the teams in the league. So take that for what it's worth. Um... I mean, in a professional league like this, every single team on any given day can compete. I mean, it's it's the top 48 players in the world. I mean, there's not, you know, there's not many slackers on the map in, in a league like this. So anyone can beat anyone. But I was really happy with coming in and 3 0 Paris. I mean, it was our first match of the year. Definitely had some first match jitters a little bit. I mean, obviously, we had our kickoff against 100 Thieves. Um... But that, was, that wasn't really for anything. That was a show match. I mean, we said it was a show match. We still wanted to win it. But we knew that that result really didn't hold any weight. So to come in and get our first win over Paris 3-0 was huge. So we ended up playing first map raid hardpoint. We actually got the good side on that map. And we just came out hot. We scrimmed Florida before that. And we were just absolutely on point. Like you could tell... I could tell after our scrims against Florida that we were going to go in and win that match. Like, we were just on point. All of us were on point. Um, it was just a really, really good day for the team. And I think that it showed in our match a little bit. So, we ended up beating them like 250 to 100 or so. Um, Raids, obviously, a good map, great map, been a historical map in the Call of Duty franchise. And we were just really excited to come out and get that huge, huge 150 point win in our first map of the year. I mean, that just carries momentum throughout the whole series. If you get a, a huge win in the respawn like that, your mentality going into that next map is just, we're smoking these guys. There's nothing they can do. If we just shoot like we are, calm like we are, they're fucked. It's like one of those situations. So I was really happy with how we played that first map. Uh, next map, we loaded into some checkmate, search, and destroy. We ended up going down 0-3, I, of course, notoriously get stuck the most in the league, I would say. Uh, so I got stuck the second round. We ended up uh, dropping a couple rounds. Went down 0-3, but then we made some really, really good mid-game adjustments. And I'll talk about that a little bit uh, when I talk about our phase match. But we were just making really good in-game adjustments. You could tell that we were comfortable. We, we knew what we wanted to do every single round. We looked at their setup, kind of broke it down, saw where we wanted to attack, Saw where we wanted to defend, and we honestly just really played it perfect. Like, going down 0-3 is never easy to come back from. Um, I mean, you pretty much got to win two, three rounds in a row to really have a decent chance in the map. And our mid-game adjustments really came through huge for us in that map. And I was really proud of the team um, to show, you know, some resilience going down like that after winning such a big first map, you know, our, our adrenaline was high. We we thought that we could ego challenge everything, and we kind of reeled it back in, uh, came up with a game plan, and it worked. Following that, we played a little bit of raid control as well. A lot of raid in this series. Um, played it a little bit sloppy, I'm not going to lie. We had a couple opportunities to win some rounds. We actually went clutch a couple times too. Um, we, we choked one of our defenses, I believe. I think... 
we had a life advantage and we kind of gave it up to them, which is going to happen. I mean, raid is, is one of those maps where if you're defending that lower pool side point and you get like four wiped or something and they only lose one or two players, they're getting that close spawn. It's really, really hard to recover from that because you essentially only have one chance. It's similar to garrison control in that sense where if they have green side hill and you're pushing it, and they don't really lose many numbers, you really only have one crack at it, and then they're just going to spawn up and restack the point, and you're just going to lose. So I was happy with how we played the map. I mean, a win's a win, and we really just played that series great. I, it got close a couple times, and we ended up pulling out, clutching up when we needed to, and I was really happy with the whole team's performance in that series. Next, moving into phase. So I personally didn't have my best series. I was a little bit disappointed in myself uh, after that series. Uh, first map we came out, all of us played great. It was a really, really close Garrison HP. They kind of messed up at the end. I don't know if you guys follow uh, Twitters or, you know, follow the league as closely as, you know, I'm just guessing. But they both got off the hill on the P2 hill, which was the green side hill, with like 11 seconds left on the hill, and we needed 9 seconds. So they thought that we were hard rotating to new. I actually was, so I killed a BZ on P3. And then I got traded by Selium, but the rest of my team was at green. And thankfully, you know, they, they got those points because I don't know if we would have won that map if uh, if we didn't get those ending points on that hill. So I was happy with that. I mean, next, moving on to the Miami, uh, our search struggles were really apparent in this series. I don't think we're as bad as a search team as we showed. Obviously, uh, people don't get to watch us play search very often, but we were just getting hard countered it felt like we had no pressure on the map we were giving up the 50 yard line the whole map uh i was playing a little bit timid in some of the rounds because i was freaking 0 and 4 so i wasn't playing like i normally would um just a whole lot of things compounding on top of each other and we just didn't have an answer for what they were doing and they weren't really doing anything too crazy we were just not playing the map well at all and it showed i mean we got 6 0 it was literally like a five minute map it was not good um especially for momentum in the series I mean, if we would have came out and at least made the map close slash won the map, I mean, that could change the series right there. Uh, but we didn't, and we have some things to work on. It's better now than, you know, during one of the majors or later on during the year whenever some of these matches really become crunch time. So, silver lining, I would rather have it happen now so we really know what we need to work on. Uh, we did get exposed, kind of, but again, I don't really feel like that was our best performance uh, in SND, I I haven't dropped a donut in I don't even know how long. It's been so very very long since I have. So it was definitely uh, it was hard for me mentally going into really just the rest of the series because I knew that you know I went 0 and 6. I kind of hard costed. Sorry, my cat's jumping up over here and my window's open because it's so hot in my room right now and she might jump out. But moving forward, it was kind of hard. It was a hard mental leap for me. Uh, I don't know. I guess I just got to work on work on that. I kind of lost composure a little bit. Um, but we bounced back with a good checkmate control. So checkmate control is one of the more defense-oriented controls in the game. We had three defenses. Uh, we played the map pretty well. I think we were the only team with a real chance at winning an offense. They kind of did in the last round, but we clutched up. It was like a 7-4 to four life advantage. So, like, I mean, we should clutch that up. But I think that we had the best chance of winning an offense in that map. And we just fell short a little bit. Uh, we were stacking B point, and I believe they got a couple entry kills. If we get like two kills there, we probably just end up winning that offense and winning the map 3 1 uh, or whatever it was. I don't really exactly remember uh, what, what had happened. But we played the map great. I mean, we were a little bit hesitant on the map just because, I don't know, it feels like the pace of the game in matches, it just drastically slows down. Like, I was literally in plane the whole map, just holding it. Like, that's why I felt like I was just bound to the plane for 10 minutes on the map. And we ended up getting the win, so obviously we did something right. Um, but yeah, I was happy with that. Next, we had Moscow Hardpoint. I honestly thought we were going to close them here. We should have closed them there. Uh, it was a really, really tight map. Just a couple mistakes down the stretch that really ended up beating us. Uh, so, Selium snuck through on the P2 hill, which freaking sucked. Because we had a full setup. We had three of them dead. I think we were counting names. And Cell was just behind us. And right before we were like, yo, he's in the back. He ended up shooting 
I think one of my teammates in the back and then killing me off of hill, which just instantly like messes up your setup. I mean, then we're fighting to get back to the hill. They're just flooding front and middle. Um, we could have got a lot more points on the hill. We did end up recovering pretty well, but it just wasn't enough in the end, uh, unfortunately. And then we went into the P3 rotation. We actually were so close. We were literally one kill away. I think I had a chance to kill a BZ and Books. Uh, Bruce said that he had a chance to kill a BZ and Books. So if either of us kill him right there, I mean, a BZ just went huge. If he doesn't do that, we probably just flat out win the map because Formal, I believe, was cutting the front. Uh, so spawners, they were spawning out Eskies. So Formal was cutting front. We were all coming from like Book and Elbow. And I had a BZ one shot. I killed one, had a BZ one shot, and I think a BZ killed Bruce too. And then Matt had to try to backtrack to kill him. And then they ended up just flooding the hill, getting hill control. And then we only had one break. and Or we had to contest, I believe. And then we had to rotate to the next hill. And we ended up losing a couple crucial gunfights on that last break. Um, in like around the gold area and street. A BZ also went big at their back bus. So I mean, really, a BZ just went huge if he doesn't do that on either of those hills we have a much better chance of winning that map literally he won them that map like single-handedly it was actually really really disheartening because i feel we should have just three won them right there and we wouldn't even went to a map five and you know we wouldn't be getting roasted as hard as we are so really unfortunate it came down to one kill uh it just sucks i mean hindsight it sucked like we were all after the match we were just like dude we literally just kill BZ. We win the match. We're all hype right now. We're all ordering freaking whatever. I mean, Texas is in lockdown right now, so we probably couldn't have even ordered. But um, yeah, it's tough. It was a tough, uh, a tough fourth map, and then that momentum shift was just huge going into Moscow. Um, we really were just over rotating on the map. We didn't play the map very well. There were a couple times me and Bruce had a couple miscommunications trying to go into the BSND bomb site on our defenses. Uh, overall, just a really sloppy series in Search and Destroy, and I think that that's what a lot of people pinpointed the loss on. Our respawn looked fine, um, and again, I didn't really have a great series, so for us to almost beat them and potentially probably should have beat them uh, when I wasn't really playing that great, uh, I think that that's a great sign for our team, especially in respawn. Search and Destroy will come with more reps. I mean, tournament reps are really the best practice. Um so yeah, I mean, that's really it. We just got exposed in S&D, and now we know what we need to work on a little bit more. So it's a good and a bad thing. Obviously, we would have, we would have preferred the win, but also this might knock us down off our high horse a little bit. I mean, not that we had like huge egos, but we definitely did think that we were one of the best teams in the game, and we still definitely do believe that. Uh, we just didn't execute whenever it came down to crunch time, and that's what ended up beating us, I feel like. I don't think... I mean, S&D did end up beating us in the end, but we shouldn't have even had to play the second S&D at all. So it is what it is. It's it's a good thing we got to that fifth map because now we know really what we need to work on. So we're going to review some stuff. Uh, just get back to the drawing board whenever we can. Unfortunately, I have power. Uh, not a lot of people in Texas have power right now. So we've been reaching out, asking people if they want to come over. My teammates haven't had power. Uh, Karma, my girlfriend's parents and family are actually coming over today because they they haven't had power for like two days. So it's uh it's an interesting time, definitely a, an interesting time for us in Texas as well. So <clears throat> we'll get we'll get back to it. But thank you guys very much for watching this uh, post uh post first matches blog. Hope you guys enjoyed it. A little bit more insight onto the the match and the breakdown of it and everything. But yeah, thank you guys all very much. We play on Thursday of this week against Toronto, so we're right back to it. So it's good to have a good rebound, and we'll uh, try to get some more dubs for you guys uh, moving forward. So as always, this is Rob Pretty Simple. Um. <laughs>